In today's video, I'm taking you thrifting with me at the Goodwill in Hudson, Wisconsin. So here we go. I bought Corel plates a few months back and I've really been enjoying them. So I would like to find more. I liked this pattern, but I really would like to find some to match the pattern I already bought. On this day, I was out thrifting with my friend Robin from Robin Johnson and my friend Jamie from Board or Bananas. If you haven't checked them out before, check out their channels. I'll link them in my description box below. And I don't have a ton of footage of them, but they're here. Green, please. Oh, those oh. are depression glass. Are they? I don't do green, though. I don't do green. <laughs> I was excited to find this stack of blue and white dishes. They wound up not being very old, and I like older ones. They also had them all priced as stacks, which sometimes I like to just pick one or two to add to my collection. So I wound up not picking any of them up because I didn't want entire stacks. Because I don't use my blue and white dishes as dishes, I decorate with them. So I don't need a whole set of dinner dishes or a whole set of luncheon plates. I loved this plate on top and I probably would have picked it up, but it was being sold in this bunch of random dishes for $5.99. Thinking back, this would be a nice stack for my dish garden, but I wasn't thinking of that at the time. Also, I found this mug, which is so interesting to me. It's a Roseville pottery mug. I have never seen one like this. I thought it was pretty cool. This was a neat divided dish made in Japan, extremely heavy clay. Don't know what type of clay, but it was very, very heavy. There was a ton of what I believe was depression glass. I did not have my light on me to test it for sure, but I think it would probably have glowed. I'm wondering if someone donated their collection. I do have a small collection, but I am really limiting myself to just picking up little creamer pitchers or candlesticks, things I can use in my displays. And as far as resale, the prices, A, were not low enough for that, and B, it just doesn't sell at the Pink Elephant. Like, people just don't seem to pick up depression glass right now. It's just not very popular right now, at least not at our shop. When I go thrifting, I'm usually looking for items for my home decor or to add to my collections. I also have a resale booth in a little vintage shop nearby called the Pink Elephant. So sometimes I'll pick up items for my booth as well. If any of that interests you, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I try to upload at least two thrifting videos a week. More now that it's summer, I'm also going to yard sales, so I'm uploading that too. So please think about joining me here. I spotted this canister, which I thought was false graph, but it actually wasn't marked. So I don't know if it's just an unmarked piece, like a seconds or something. It had a chip in it. If it hadn't had a chip, I would have probably bought it. Maybe it was ironstone. I'm just not sure, but it did have a cool shape and all three of us noticed it separately. I really loved this hand-blown glass pitcher. The handle was really cool, but I brought it up to the register. I was gonna buy it. And when I placed it down, it was really rocky. Like it didn't sit flat. So I left that.
I spotted several of these faux stained glass hanging pieces throughout the store. And I thought they were really pretty. So I think someone must have donated their collection of these as well. They're not real stained glass, but they were really well done. I always check the price on the Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread plate as a barometer of the prices in the store. This one was $3.99, which I felt was an accurate representation of how the prices in the store went. Not too high, not too low. This was a lovely little music box. And you can see here when you open it up, the little ballet dancer spins. I had something like this when I was a kid, so that's why it caught my eye. I love this. Nice colors. Usually rooster art has too much yellow in it for me, but I like this. I love the color of this rocker. I have a rocker, I don't need a rocker, but wow, I love this color. That's adorable. This was new merchandise that Goodwill bought and it was selling, but these were really, I think they were $2.99 per set. And I have been looking to replace some of my oven mitts and hot pads. They just get nasty after a while. And so that's why I was looking at these. Isn't she so cute? She's adorable. Jamie spotted this clear glass flower frog and pointed it out to me, but I am limiting myself to only buying ones that are in colors because I have so many clear glass ones at this point, but I thought it was a good price. Hello, I hope it was fun coming with me to Goodwill. I always like the Goodwill in Wisconsin, Hudson, Wisconsin. I started going there when Jamie and Robin and I started thrifting together, and I always think they have pretty good prices. So I like to go there. Chris likes to go to a comic book store sort of nearby. So sometimes I go when he goes out to the comic book store and I always find good stuff. I didn't buy a ton, but I love the things I bought. I bought one big item. I'm going to insert footage here because it's already in place and being used. This was my biggest purchase at Goodwill on this trip. I bought this floor lamp for $14.99. I wanted to use it in this corner. I think it really does a nice job of cozying up the space. And I have dark finished lamps on my other table, so this works well. So yes, I was so happy to find that lamp because I've been looking for a lamp like that. Priced one out at Target that I was going to buy because I even thought the price at Target was like 90 or 99 or something. That was even a good price on a floor lamp. So to find this for $14 or $14.99, I think it was, was a fantastic deal. I meant to take footage in the evening. In the evening, it's so cozy because the light through that lampshade is a little muted and that chair there, it just makes a very cozy reading corner. But I forgot to get the nighttime footage and I really want to get this video done. So, just imagine, it's a, just a cozy little reading corner. I also picked up this little stained glass piece. It's a hummingbird. I think it's beautiful. I love, I mean, it's not stained glass, sorry. It's painted, but it's made to look like stained glass. And you know, I love stained glass. So I haven't decided if I'm going to put it in the kitchen or the family room. I'm not sure. When I decide, if I decide before I put this video up, I'll put in some footage. And if not, you'll just have to know that it'll either be in my kitchen or my family room.
Okay, I am going to hang this in here, but I ran out of the little suction cup hooky things, so I need to get some on Amazon. If you hear squeaking, that's Penny squeaking, <laughs> squeaking her toy, but I think that's going to look really pretty. You can kind of get the idea. Obviously, it will be not that large at all, but I think it'll be pretty. Okay, and then I also got this, which I adore. A lot of chicken pictures are very colorful, but I like my artwork to be a little more muted. I love that this was, you know, black and white. I love the frame. I think it's really pretty. I don't need to do anything to it. It's Warren Kimball, American, American folk art. It's got a nice mat. So yeah, I love this. It was $5.99, which is a little more than I usually pay for a piece of artwork, but I really loved it and I wasn't going to leave it. So I like that a lot. Again, if I hang it before this video goes up, I'll insert footage, but that's not likely. I got it hung before I put the video up. Don't mind my wilted plant. I did just water it, but there it is. I decided to go with putting it in the kitchen. Sorry, that's the sun from our skylight. Cause I have all my other little roosters and chickens. So, oh, there goes Penny. Anyway, I'm super pleased with how it looks there. Also, I'm putting this on Instagram today, but look, Look at this fantastic graphic. I'm, it's in the front of this very old cookbook. Oh, I don't want to. That one. It's like an old edition of the Better Homes and Gardens. And oh my goodness. I've never opened it before and seen that. I love it. It's perfect for the season. Anyway, but there's the chicken picture and my very cool graphic. Okay. And then I also picked up this mug. It is a Roseville pottery mug, $1.99. I love this thing. You know, I like two finger mugs. This is really supposed to be a one finger mug, but I think I can do two fingers in it. And I just really loved it. There were others, they were not in as good shape. This one was in really good shape. So this is for me, for my own personal mug collection. I guess I have to get rid of a mug because every time I bring a mug in, I have to get rid of one. That's a rule that I have for myself. So that's what I'll do. And then I also got this bowl. This is not even a green that I collect really, but I think it's um, Pioneer Woman. We're not sure, um, but I love this pattern on it. I thought that was gorgeous. Pioneer Woman made repro items. So I don't know. I don't know how to tell if it's her or if it's the actual original that she was copying. Not really sure how to tell. But anyway, I really thought it was pretty. And I thought I like to keep strawberries or grapes on the counter when I work. This way I can snack on those and not just on like handfuls of pretzels. <laughs> so that's what I'll probably use this for. I just think it'll be pretty sitting on the counter. And it was $2.99. And then the last thing I got was a set of the pot holders. Well, the oven mitt and pot holder. So I thought these were cute. You know, I do strawberries in my kitchen in the summer. So I was really hoping to find strawberries. I didn't, but I have blue in my kitchen and you know, this is like a reddish, like strawberry like color. So I thought that would work. I don't hang them up really. There's not a lot of space in my kitchen for that, but I, I don't know. I like them to, you know, look cheerful when I take them out of the drawer and it's really nice and heavy. It's like better than the Dollar Tree ones. And it was only $2.99 for the set. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. Uh, this is just the first part of what I bought on the day that I went thrifting with Jamie and Robin. There will be another video on Sunday, which will also have some vintage shop, antique shop footage as well. So I'll show you that haul. That was a really good haul. So anyway, hope you're enjoying all these videos. I know I'm bombarding you a little bit, but I'm doing so much thrifting. And actually later, well, this weekend, we're going to a big garage sale in a neighborhood, like a neighborhood wide. So that's going to be fun. I'm going garage sailing with Molly on another day. So lots of footage coming your way. Lots of thrifting happening. So anyway, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.